Have you ever wondered if your brain plays tricks on you? Our minds are complex, intricate machines, but even they are not infallible. They are prone to something we call cognitive biases. These are systematic errors in thinking that affect the decisions and judgments we make. Now, these aren't just random mistakes. They're consistent, predictable, and quite fascinating once you start to understand them. You see, our brains are constantly processing a staggering amount of information. To cope with this deluge, they employ mental shortcuts or heuristics to speed up decision-making. Imagine you're navigating through a dense forest with no clear path in sight. You could painstakingly analyze every tree, every leaf, every possible route. Or you could find a river and follow it, hoping it will lead you out. That's what heuristics are. The rivers our minds follow when the forest of information becomes too thick. But why do these cognitive biases exist? It's a question of evolution and efficiency. Our ancestors didn't have the luxury of time to weigh every decision carefully. They had to react quickly to threats and opportunities. A rustle in the bushes could be the wind, or it could be a predator. Erring on the side of caution, assuming it's a threat, could mean the difference between life and death. These heuristics, these cognitive biases, are the remnants of that survival instinct. Today, in our modern world, these instincts can misfire. They can lead us to make hasty judgments, to see patterns where none exist, to remember events as being more predictable than they were. They can cause us to overweight recent information, to favor information that confirms our existing beliefs, or to perceive a link between two unrelated events. But don't despair. Recognizing these biases is half the battle. Once we understand how our minds can trick us, we can begin to correct for these distortions, to see the world a little more clearly. Unsurprisingly, these mental shortcuts can lead to mistakes and misinterpretations. So let's delve deeper into this fascinating world of cognitive biases and explore how we can navigate our mind's tricky terrain more effectively. Ever noticed how we tend to favor information that confirms our existing beliefs? Let's dive into this fascinating phenomenon known as confirmation bias. Picture this, you're convinced that full moons cause strange behavior each time you notice peculiar happenings during a full moon, you think, aha, there it is again. You're quick to remember these instances, reinforcing your belief. But what about all the times when the moon was full and nothing out of the ordinary happened, or when things got weird and there was no full moon in sight? These instances tend to slip through the cracks of our memory. That, my friends, is confirmation bias in action. Now let's think about a more serious example. Let's say you firmly believe that a specific political party is to blame for all the country's problems. You're likely to seek out news articles, social media posts, or even conversations that support this belief. Simultaneously, you're more likely to dismiss or overlook information that contradicts your view. You might even interpret neutral information in a way that aligns with your belief. So why does this happen? Well, our brains love consistency. It's less mentally taxing to hold on to our existing beliefs than to constantly question and revise them. This bias, while efficient, can lead us astray. It can cause us to make poor decisions, hold on to false beliefs, and even contribute to social division. But the good news is we can combat confirmation bias. The first step is awareness. Recognize when you're seeking out or interpreting information in a way that supports your existing beliefs. Try to consciously seek out and consider contradictory information. It might be uncomfortable, but it's a crucial part of critical thinking. And remember, it's okay to change your mind. It's a sign of growth, not weakness. In fact, some of the greatest minds in history were known for their ability to revise their beliefs in light of new evidence. So, you see, our brains have a knack for reinforcing our convictions, even when they might be wrong. How often do you find your initial impressions influencing your final decision? That's a question we might not ask ourselves often enough. But the truth is, our brains have a sneaky little habit of doing just that. It's called the anchoring bias. Now, what exactly is this anchoring bias? It's a cognitive bias where we tend to rely heavily on the first piece of information we encounter when making decisions. Yes, that's right. The very first piece of information, or anchor, often sets the tone for everything that follows. To illustrate, 
Let's consider a simple scenario. Imagine you're shopping for a new pair of shoes. You see a pair you like and the price tag reads £80, that's your anchor. Now you continue browsing and find a similar pair for £60. Suddenly that second pair seems like a great deal, right? But what if the original price you saw was £50? In that case, the £60 pair might seem overpriced. That's the anchoring bias at play. Your perception of value was influenced by the first price you saw, your anchor. You might think, well, I'd be more rational when it comes to more critical decisions. But the anchoring bias isn't limited to shopping. It extends to various areas of our lives, from negotiating salaries to estimating the value of a house, and even to our judgments about people based on first impressions. And it's not just about numbers or price tags. Our initial impressions, ideas or experiences can serve as anchors, influencing our subsequent thinking and decision-making. It's a psychological trap we can all fall into, and being aware of it is the first step in mitigating its effects. So our initial impressions, right or wrong, have a disproportionate influence on our subsequent thinking. It's crucial to be aware of this, to question our anchors, and to consider other relevant information before drawing conclusions. Because after all, our brains are great at many things, but they're also pretty good at tricking us. Do you think flying is more dangerous than driving? This question often elicits a resounding yes from many of us, despite statistics showing that driving is, in fact, far more risky. So why is our perception skewed? This is where the availability heuristic comes into play. The availability heuristic is a mental shortcut that relies on immediate examples that come to mind. The human brain, being the efficient machine that it is, tends to use this shortcut to estimate the probability of an event. Essentially, the more readily something springs to mind, the more likely we deem it to be. Now you might ask, what influences this availability in our memory? A couple of key factors are at play here. The recency of an event is a significant influencer. Let's consider the question we started with, flying versus driving. Plane crashes, while rare, are widely reported in the news, making them fresh in our minds. In contrast, car accidents, though far more frequent, don't make headlines as often and thus get pushed back in our memory. Another factor is the emotional charge of the memory. Events that stir strong emotions in us, such as fear or joy, are more likely to be readily available in our minds. So, the fear invoked by the thought of a plane crash makes it more available in our memory, leading us to overestimate its likelihood. However, it's important to understand that this heuristic while useful at times, can lead to significant errors in judgment. The human mind is not a perfect statistician, and remembering that our perceptions can be skewed by the availability of information can help us make more informed decisions. So the next time you find yourself thinking that something is likely because it's easy to recall, pause, and consider whether your judgment is being clouded by the availability heuristic. In essence, our brain often confuses easy to remember with more likely to occur. Ever caught yourself saying, I knew it all along? Well, welcome to the world of hindsight bias, a fascinating mental trick our brains play on us. It's that smug feeling of, I told you so, even when you didn't actually predict the outcome. Let's delve into it. Hindsight bias is our tendency to believe, after an outcome is already known, that we would have foreseen or predicted it. It's like looking back at a football match and saying, I knew they were going to win even though you had your doubts during the game. You see, our brains are not perfect record keepers. When an event occurs, our minds update our recollections with new information, making us believe we knew what was going to happen all along. It's like our brains are rewriting history, making us the star of our own little psychic show. Think about that time you watched a thriller movie for the second time. You knew the plot twists and it seemed so obvious. But was it that clear the first time you watched it? Probably not yet your brain tricks you into thinking you could have guessed it. Hindsight bias can lead to an inflated confidence in our abilities to predict events. It can make us feel like we have more control over the world than we actually do. It can lead us to underestimate risks or to be overconfident in our decisions. It's important to recognize this bias, especially when we evaluate our past decisions. We must remember that we're judging past actions with the knowledge of how things turned out, not with the uncertainty we faced at the time. Remember the last time you made a risky decision that didn't pan out? You might think, I should have known better. But the truth is, you made the best decision you could with the information you had at the time. 
So our brains often rewrite history, making us believe we saw things coming more than we really did. But remember, hindsight is 2020, and it's easy to be a psychic when you already know the outcome. How can we avoid falling into these cognitive traps? The first strategy is to seek out diverse perspectives. Our brains are wired to confirm what we already believe, and this can limit our understanding of the world around us. By actively seeking out different viewpoints, we can challenge our preconceived notions and potentially uncover new insights. This can be as easy as having a conversation with someone who thinks differently than you, or reading a book that challenges your worldview. Secondly, question your assumptions. This is particularly important when making decisions. We often make decisions based on assumptions that we take for granted, and these assumptions can lead us astray. By questioning our assumptions, we can uncover hidden biases and make more informed decisions. Thirdly, slow down your decision-making processes. Our brains are fantastic at making quick decisions, but these snap judgments can often be influenced by cognitive biases. By taking the time to think things through, we can avoid these biases and make better decisions. This doesn't mean you need to deliberate over every single decision, but for important ones, it's worth taking a little extra time. Finally, be aware of these biases and their potential impacts. Knowledge is power, and the more you know about cognitive biases, the better equipped you'll be to mitigate their effects. This means not just understanding what these biases are, but also recognising when they might be influencing your thoughts and actions. For instance, if you find yourself attributing your successes to your skills and your failures to external factors, you might be falling prey to the self-serving bias. By being aware of this bias, you can strive to take a more balanced view of your actions and outcomes. In conclusion, cognitive biases are a natural part of human cognition. They can distort our perception of reality and influence our decisions in ways we might not be aware of. But by seeking out diverse perspectives, questioning our assumptions, slowing down our decision-making and being aware of these biases, we can mitigate their effects and make more informed decisions. Remember, knowledge and mindfulness of these biases is the first step in mitigating their effects. So what have we learned about our deceptive brains? We've journeyed through the labyrinth of our minds and exposed some of the tricks our brains play on us. We've come to understand that our perception isn't always a mirror reflection of reality. Instead, it's often an illusion, a construct of our minds, shaped by a plethora of cognitive biases that influence how we process information and make decisions. The confirmation bias showed us that our brains prefer to stick with what's familiar, how it cherry-picks information that conforms to our existing beliefs, often leading us astray. The anchoring bias, on the other hand, revealed our tendency to rely too heavily on the first piece of information we encounter, skewing our judgment and decision-making processes. We've seen the availability heuristic in action, demonstrating how our brains prioritise immediate, readily available information, even when it's not the most relevant or accurate. And let's not forget the hindsight bias, our brain's knack for rewriting history, making us believe we knew it all along, even when we didn't. But it's not all doom and gloom. We've also learned that awareness is the first step to mitigating the impact of these cognitive biases. By understanding their mechanisms, we can start to recognise when our brains are leading us down the garden path. Proactive strategies such as seeking diverse perspectives, questioning our assumptions and slowing down our decision-making process can help us navigate these cognitive traps. These biases are not flaws per se, but rather they are shortcuts our brains have developed over millennia of evolution. They've helped our ancestors survive in a world where quick decisions were often a matter of life and death. But in today's complex world, these biases can sometimes lead us astray. As we navigate through life, always remember our brain, while a remarkable organ, can sometimes be a crafty deceiver.